Yeah, so a semi hit me. So what had happened was, I was at a Cabela's parking lot overnight and my slides were out and I was next to other people in RVs and, and trucks, but they were nice big long spaces like Cabela's has. I had the blinds down right here and the one right here. And I was working in my chair about 7.30 in the morning and I see this semi come like it's gonna turn into the space next to me, which it did. And then the entire rig shook and I almost jumped up out of my chair to go look. But then I saw through the other window that it kept going. And I thought, oh, I just shook because semis make you shake when they go by. They're big and really didn't think anything else of it. And then I hooked up. I left. I walked around my rig, didn't see a thing wrong. I usually am looking down because I'm checking my tires and the corners of my slides and to make sure the jacks are up right. And I am pretty careful because I'm new with the fifth wheel. But I drove about an hour and a half and I stopped to dump my tanks and get water. And I walked around the outside of my rig and I saw that the vent was gone on the outside of my refrigerator. Well, of course, I just thought the vent fell off. And then I see there's a big groove in the paint. And I thought, oh my God, what did I hit? Well, then I was filling up my water and it took about five minutes and I look up and I see that this window is completely shattered. And not only that, but the other window over here has a chip and the entire top of my rig, about 12 feet tall, has these huge metal grooves in the paint. So, of course, I still think I did it. I was like, my God, what kind of a tree did I go by that did that? So I just decided to fix it myself. I was taking pictures to send to the dealership so they could order the window. And I was just gonna buy the window, maybe put it in myself, try and fix the grooves, you know, order a new cover for the vent. And I was editing the photos and I noticed that there was paint transfer inside of one of the grooves. I was like, wait a minute. And then I looked at the directionality of the damage. And that's when I saw that the damage went from the back of my rig towards the front and I had not backed up that day, not at all. Not one time, not two feet. I was going straight the whole time. And that's when I realized that that semi had hit me. You could tell he tried to correct. Went down, took out this window, a whole bunch of paint, the vent, and kept going. I decided to put in a claim because it wasn't my fault. My deductible is $500 for collision. Now, in some states, uninsured motorist would cover that, but not in my state. In my state, it falls under collision, but I wanted to make sure they knew it wasn't my fault. So I sent them more photos, really documented really well. And then I actually got the insurance company to agree to send an adjuster out to my BLM spot that I'm at right now to assess the damage. Because then they know that it wasn't my fault. I didn't want to just get it fixed because then there's nobody from the insurance company to go, oh yeah, Look at the paint transfer. Look at the directionality of the stuff. They tried to get me to go to a dealership, and I just was like, no. <laughs> I have to drive hours to get there. Then they have to do an estimate. Then they have to order the part that's going to take a month. And then I'm going to have to go back to the dealership and be out of my rig for a week, and this is my house. So I got them to agree to send somebody out. Well, they were supposed to come within a week, and it was the day before the last day they could have been here. So I called the insurance company and I said, look, I'm just getting a little nervous because a lot of companies are sending workers home right now. And sure enough, the independent adjuster company out here that was supposed to come look at me had canceled days before and they didn't have any employees. They weren't sending their employees out on any more jobs. But um, nobody told me that. Usually these days when you have a car claim, you can just go into the app and give them your photos and everything. I told them I had the part numbers for the windows, the manufacturer of the windows, the cost of the windows. The only thing that they had to decide was how much the grooves and the paint were worth. But they couldn't do it. I went ahead and ordered the windows back in my 
home state where my family is. Whenever I get there, it'll be there to be repaired. So I'm really lucky, you guys, because I'm camping with Wonder Boom. I don't know if you know Eric and Robin from Wander Boom. Check them out. They're amazing. He is a, like a master carpenter. He's coming over here in a minute to give me a fix before he hits the road, and I'm so lucky. He's going to actually pop this window out, which is on screws. I did not know this until this happened, and he's gonna screw in a piece of wood. I'm gonna show it to you guys in case anyone has a broken window, because right now, I mean, it could be months before I can get this fixed, because by the time I get where I wanted to go, there might not be anybody working that week or that month. I have to say, in the scope of everything else that's happening right now, this seemed like a big deal for a minute, it does not seem like a big deal now. You know, I'm fine. The propane lines weren't hit. I'm lucky enough to have somebody with me that can help me cover it, and then I'm just gonna keep it moving. I'll take care of it when I can. Hey, Eric with Wonderboom. Hi. Um, my good friend who's gonna help me with this, thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it was. The door got mangled. Just completely ripped off. Well, I'm lucky they didn't get any wires. Yeah. Looks okay? Yeah. Just... Yeah, I checked all the connections and everything seemed nice and tight and I didn't see any um, holes. So, yeah. Yeah. should be okay. Yeah. Really easy. So, yeah, we're just going to throw together a quick little uh, piece of plywood to cover that up for the uh, time being and make yep. sure that looks halfway decent, well... protected from the elements and such. Yeah, it's probably a little hard to see from down there, but this is, yeah, I got. See, we got raked across and scratched this, but it's cr it's broken the window. It's uh, you know, it's the tempered glass, so it hasn't uh, all fallen out yet. But Lucky. Basically, uh, it's being held together. Same thing. We're gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this guy off. Put a piece of temporary uh, uh, plywood over it to make sure it's you know watertight and good for the you know you go hit a couple of these bumps pulling down the road. And this yeah. thing's just gonna. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pull a couple of screws out of here. Cut a little corners off, that'll fit right on there. Wow, it's nice to have you around. <laughs> <laughs> All RV windows are roughly the same concept. I mean, they've just got this, the outer track and an inner track, and they put the inner track into, in, and the other one just basically shoots screws through this part, and it just pinches it into the, to the opening, basically. So right now, this is all just a whole big. Now it's, we just have to pop it's out. It's being held by the by the tape, yeah, or by the the uh, adhesive now on the other side. So, you know, it's kind of pretty. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's it's really pretty <laughs> in the light, but I can't drive because yeah. it would fall out and kill somebody. Can I help in some way? Yeah. You want me to go outside uh, and stand actually, under oh, it? You know, I should that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. <laughs> it's raining. Raining it's, glass. It's raining glass. Why can't I see anymore? That's, That's weird. That's not good. Where, where did all this blood come from? Let's uh, actually let's throw off. Uh, Eric, what are you gonna do? You gonna just karate chop the hell out of that thing? <laughs> Get it out of the window? Yeah, well, a little bit. I'm just. It's more just to catch in case uh, it does crumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it won't. And won't have that you really gotta grab a piece. Oh my god, yeah, it looks like it's almost going to snap in half. It just made a big, um, oh, yeah, that would have come apart for sure. Wow. Yeah. Well, we lucked out. Jeez. Yeah, see, it's got the, okay, that's good, actually. It doesn't, it just has the regular seal. It's not all tape, you know, heavy, uh, like a Dicor tape or any kind of uh, yeah. turn of bond or anything like that, so. So that's good. Can you, let me look at the other side where he hit it. Yeah. See if I, it's for the insurance company, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically it just kind of jammed it up against, you know, the part that it overlapped yeah, the, the some metal mirror or something. a little bit. Yeah. This is what, you know, this seal is the weather stripping that keeps the water out. Um, so uh, we basically just got to get all this busted glass off and out of the way and then I'll be just throw that piece of plywood on temporarily on where the glass was and then we can put the whole model back in. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll so I won't get any in. rain in. Right. That's good. It got really breezy in here. Oh, wow. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Goodbye, window. Thanks to my driver. You dick.
actually, we could make a mosaic out of this. We should keep the broken glass and like make a tabletop. Actually, it would be. You should keep it for one of your really cool schoolie builds, everybody. <laughs> Wander boom. Well, there we go. Look at this. So just How'd the, you do uh, that? Quarter inch piece of underlayment plywood. And I just happen to have a little bit of flex seal. Uh, oh, spray. Spray. So I gave it a quick coat of that. But uh, pretty custom cut the piece. I mean, I didn't get too crazy with the, the edges. I just kind of. Wow. So I fit. just thought you were going to put a big square. Yeah, the like, problem with that is the... that the way that this attaches to the, you know, this is the seal that closes up against the rig. So uh -huh. I, if I were to shoot the plop, a bigger piece of plywood on through here, then it would be sticking through and we wouldn't be able to get the seal in the side You're of the rig. You're a genius. So, You're so a we've, genius. we've got a nice little lip on the inside here that if I shoot a couple of screw holes through, that won't affect it when the, the new one is put back on. It's no big deal. So I've got some of these little self-tapping screws. They're very handy dandy like that. Cool. And then so I'm going to just install a couple of those. Oh, look how pretty. Inside, pretty basic. That's I'm outside. Going. And on the inside, I think I might just paint a mural. Yeah, there you go. Or, you know, something something for how I feel about that truck driver that broke my window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some, some message. There you go. Yeah, perfect. That is really, really beautiful. Keep it in there. It's definitely not as pretty as it used to be. No, no, but uh, yeah. get the job done anyway. Yeah, it, yeah, it will. But you know what? It doesn't look like I'm rich. <laughs> and then I have a bunch of stuff in there to be robbed. There you go. I do not. There's... And just like that, she has a new window. So this is it. I am so lucky, Eric, that you're here. And we're leaving off the uh, the blind and the little cover right there for now because, you know, whatever. They can reattach that when they, yeah, no they fix to, the real window. Right, no need to have to take it off again when yeah. we go to do the window. So. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Eric no saves problem. the day. <laughs>